Hi, you guys. I'm Kim. Welcome to The Regretful Yarn Addict. Today, let's learn how to do the Tunisian knit stitch using a regular crochet hook. Because as I stated in the simple stitch tutorial, why go out and spend money on a tool that you may never use if you're not going to use it? That's money you can use to spend on yarn. Okay? So just like before, I want you to grab some scrap yarn, grab a regular hook. It has to have at least enough room on the throat for eight stitches to be on it, eight loops of yarn. If you have a regular aluminum hook, that works great, but these work just as well. If you're going to be using a four weight yarn like I am, I would suggest you use a six millimeter hook. Now I just grabbed my five and a half because that's what happened to be handy. So you've got your hook, you've got your scrap yarn. Let's do this. We're going to start out by putting a slip knot on our hook. Chain eight. One, two, three, four. Oh, that looked crappy. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Got your chain of eight. Fantastic. Flip that baby over because we're going to be working in the back bumps. This, just like with the simple stitch, this counts as one. Go under that bump, grab some yarn and pull it through. That's two. Next bump, three. Next one, four. Next one, five. And the next one is six. And the next one is seven. And that last one is eight. Eight loops, two, four, six, eight. Okay, now we're just gonna do Regular pass like we were doing simple stitch. Did you see what I did there? Wrap my yarn, pull it through one. Wrap, pull through two. Wrap, pull through two. Wrap through two. Wrap, pull through two. And again, and again, and again. Again, until you have one loop left on your hook. See? This is a Tunisian simple stitch. The knit stitch is a little bit different because we're not going to be going just under it. We're going to be going through it. Okay, just like with the simple, this counts as your first one. Your first and the last are going to be just a regular simple stitch. But for the knit stitch, see that? This is what it looks like from the front. Pull it to the side and you can see you have that loop and that loop. Stab your hook at an angle so you're going through it. Grab your yarn and pull it up. You just stab your yarn through it, just like that. Wrap, pull through. Go, so you can kind of see like right there, there's your, your loop. Go between that back loop and the front loop. Just through it. 
Grab your yarn and pull it up. Okay. And again, you can see it. When you put it kind of sideways, you can see there's the front of it, there's the back. See the front and the back. There's the back. Just go kind of at an angle right through it pull it up and you know you've done it if when you pull it up you can see one loop on each side of this loop just like that you just go through at an angle pull your yarn up and then when you get to the very last one and you'll know you're on the last one because you've got seven loops, two, four, six, seven. Just like with a simple stitch, go through both those loops on the end, pull it up. Okay? And pass back is the same. You just wrap, you go through one, wrap through two, wrap through two all the way to the end just like you did with the simple stitch see that right now it looks like oh i messed up nope you haven't you're good so we got that loop right there this is our simple stitch that we're starting with okay hang on just a second Grab the darning needle so that we can really see this. Pull that up. Okay, you guys. Here's, if you're looking at it straight on, just like this, there's your bars. If you tilt it a little, see, you can see this bar right here this bar and then under here you see that second bar that's your back bar that's your front bar same thing here that's your back bar your front back front so you're going to put your hook right through that back and that front at an angle, just like that. See, goes in the back. Grab your yarn, pull it up. And you're gonna go to the next one. Go at an angle, pull up. The next one, there's your back loop. There's your front, and you're going right there, right in the middle, just like that. See, you can see it right there. Just slide through it, slide through, slide through, and now we're coming up to our end. We're going to go through both loops at that last one. Bring it up. We've got eight loops. Two, four, six, eight. Go through one, wrap. Go through two, wrap. Go through two. All the way back to the end with one left. And you see how we're starting to look like it's knit? Let's do it again. We've got front loop, back loop, front, back. We're going to slide right between them and go under this whole stuff. All this stuff up here, go under it. Pull up. 
You're just going through that loop, nothing else. And then let's just hit those last two on the end. And you're going to wrap and go through one, wrap, two, 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 two. I've got a, I've got a bit of a snaggle puss going on there. All right. Wrap, go through two, two, and two. Okay. And you see how we're getting our Vs? Just like that. Let's, let's do another row. And this is going to be a very dense fabric when you're done. It's going to be very dense. So this loop counts as that far. And it's a simple stitch all the way down. So we're going to start there. Okay, what I was talking about before was, you see how you've got, let me pull that out. This space right here, all that. We want to make sure when we're going through this, that that's all we're going through. Okay, we're just, we're not touching anything in this row. Nothing in this row. Just through the loop. Same thing here, just through the loop, okay? So we'll go at an angle, and that's the best way to do it, is just stab your hook in there at an angle, pull up, at an angle, pull up. Between those loops at an angle, just like this. And at the end, let's grab those last two, pull it up. Wrap and go through one, wrap, go through two, wrap through two, wrap through two, all the way to the end. This row, well, this part of the row is easy peasy because one row is going across and back. That's one row. This is half of it, and that's half of it. Okay, are you seeing how that's looking now? Again, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna go through the middle of it. As you get going on it, it does get so much easier. Just go through it, just like that. two, four, six, seven, which means that we're on the end where we're going to go through both those. We're going to go under them actually and pull up. And then we wrap and go through one, wrap through two, wrap through two, wrap through two, and two, wrap two, wrap two, wrap two. Wrap two. Okay, I'm going to do a few more rows and uh, we'll show you how to finish this off. Okay, so congratulations. You've just time traveled into the future. I've done a few more rows and you can really see how that's looking like a knit stitch. And it's very thick. Very dense. And this one does curl as well. So how'd you do? Is it looking like this? If not, practice some more. Okay, and to finish this off, we're just gonna go, just like we're doing a regular knit stitch, we're gonna slide in there sideways, pull up, and do a single crochet. My words left me for a minute. Slide in like a knit, single crochet. Slide in, 
single crochet all the way across. And then at the very end, just go through both those loops and there you are. There you have it. That way we're ending just like we began. Does it look like that? Congratulations. You've just learned the Tunisian knit stitch. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.